the covers are just gorgeous you put neon any color on a book cover now and i'm like i'm listening <laughs> Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well because I know that I am. Because today we're doing something really exciting. I'm coming up on the end of my time here in London and there are just some bookstores that I haven't gone into yet that I'm dying to step foot in and just like browse and see if there's anything that I like. Plus, we're coming up on the end of the hot girl summer and I definitely have not read all of the hot girl books that I told myself I would. So I have a couple books in mind that I'm going to try and search for and if I see them, then I'll pick them up and try and finish my hot book summer on a strong foot. But at the very least, I'll take you around some really pretty bookstores today here in London and then talk to you about the books that I found that I didn't buy that I do still wanna read because I'm on a bit of like a book buying hiatus. I try and be really, really strict with myself. So if I buy anything, it's only probably gonna be like one or two books but I know that I will definitely go out there and add a whole bunch of books to my TBR which I can then try and check out from my public library so either way going to explore a whole bunch and find a lot of really great reads I'm really looking forward to it and I'm excited to have you along with me for the journey All right, so yesterday we went into two bookstores. We went into a used bookstore, School Books, which I've like showed you around before in this channel. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite bookstore in London, I think. There's just something so cozy and unique about being in this like wonderful, mysterious basement with just rows and rows and rows of like wonderful books. If you saw my recent video about books that changed my life, the last book that I talked about was Stoner by John Williams. And my boyfriend was like, that actually sounds really interesting. Like I'd love to pick it up and we miraculously were able to find it at Scoob and like considering it's a used bookstore, you'd be like, okay, you probably got like a pretty old beaten up version. No, we got like the latest print, a completely new edition, just like for half of the price that we would have otherwise gotten it. So that was like a huge steal. And then we went into the big water stones near UCL's campus and it's literally life-changing. I can't remember the last time I was in a bookstore that big because I've been to other water stones, but this one feels like you know, it's like their flagship store and it's just absolutely massive. It's three like complete floors of like a building that's literally a block long. It's so massive and they have every single book you could ever imagine. And then the fantasy section was like a whole room instead of just a couple of shelves. Like I don't think I've ever seen a fantasy section that big, at least not in the UK. 
so I was really excited about that because ever since I started reading fantasy seriously about a year ago, this is probably the most extensive collection I've seen. So I found a lot of things that I was interested in, but I only ended up picking one thing. And from the clip of us reading in the park, I wonder if you can guess what you think I was reading. I'd love to see you guys guess what I actually picked up. There are two contemporaries that have caught my eye at multiple bookstores. I saw these at Daunt as well and was like, the covers are just gorgeous. You put neon any color on a book cover now and I'm like, I'm listening. Like I'm so basic, but Voyeur and Night Bitch. These are two like contemporary feminist skewed literary fiction books that are very much woman in city is called crazy and is sad. So I'm like, oh, so like a hot girl summer book. Like I could kind of get down with that. And like, maybe I'll go back after I finish what I'm currently reading to do like a books I'm reading as a last ditch effort to have a hot girl summer. I ended up not picking those up because I was like, oh, I can only get them in hardcover right now because they're new releases. And like, I've just been moving around a lot lately and carrying around a hardcover is like a bit of a tough sell because they're just heavy. And then I saw this biography that was really interesting about this coursier in way back when, 17 or 1800s, I can't remember, who basically rose to incredible political power from nothing. Like she was born destitute and she made a name for herself and she has the kind of energy that I admire. So I almost bought that, but once again, the hardcover was just a bit of a tough sell. And then there were a lot of history books that looked really interesting, but I just don't think I can turn my brain on enough to get into the nonfiction right now. So kind of a bummer, but I don't know. Cause I'm like, oh, maybe once I leave college, but then if I have like a full-time job, I don't know if I'll want to read nonfiction then. You know, it's kind of like a self-perpetuating cycle where if I never start, then I'll never gain like, you know, the kind of tolerance that it would need for me to enjoy reading nonfiction when I'm tired. Cause I'm never going to have this like perfect miraculous moment to start getting into reading nonfiction. So I'll get over myself eventually, I promise. So what did Svenja end up getting herself? I hear you asking yourselves desperately. Yeah. Basically I was like, look, I just spent 30 minutes in my last video railing, railing on the first book. But then I saw this on the shelf and the giddy feeling that I felt reading the back cover and being like, oh my God, you are completely right. Sarah does have to go hang out with Reese now. I just absolutely lost it. I was like, I had a lot of fun annotating the last one and feeling like a little intellectual while still reading, you know, objective garbage. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna treat myself. It's still the summer. It is like a lot bigger than I would expect considering the first one was like 300 pages and this one is like six. So like, we'll see if there's actually 600 pages of plot in there. Yeah, but we went shopping yesterday and I'm already on page 75. I've been enjoying it a lot. Like, I mean, look, I clearly have lots of problems with it already. There are plenty of tasks. As for like general enjoyment goes, I'm like having a lot of fun and I'm enjoying it. It makes me want to keep reading. So I'm like, that's why I read. So why would I turn my nose up at something that fulfills the literal goal that I have for myself with this pastime? Being in the bookstore also reminded me that I really want to read Jade City by Fonda Lee because that's just been absolutely blowing up on like the fantasy side of booktube. Everyone's been losing their mind. So I'm like, you know what, I might as well give it a try. But it's the kind of thing where I'm like, there's a pretty good chance I'd be able to pick it up at a thrift store in the States. So I'm just waiting on that one. And then the same for Discworld. Like I really like the vintage editions of Discworld. I don't really want to buy them new, but I really want to read that. And then I also am like very much on the hunt for the original hardcovers of The Wheel of Time. Like I think the covers are just so stunning. So those are like definitely like something that I have my eyes set on. I'm looking to read a little bit more contemporary fiction because as much as I love fantasy, I feel like I'm enjoying having a better balance between what I'm reading then finishing the Court of Thorns and Roses series, and then trying to dip my toes into nonfiction by reading like a fun biography. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed coming around with me and helping me curate a little bit more of my fall TBR and you know, setting my sights on a couple of books that I'll be looking out for once I return to the States. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed coming around to bookstores with me yesterday and chatting about our fall reading plans. As always, it was an absolute pleasure hanging out with you and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye.